chemicals is, is critical to our health because it goes into food, it goes into air, it goes into water, it goes into the soil. So the government must have uh, a very good legal framework to not only regulate, but also make sure that what comes out for people's usage is safe. Now, we are specifically talking about these chemicals and the Constitution gives us the right to health, the right to life, and the right to dignity. But in most of the cases, this is not happening because the government must respect, must protect, and must fulfill our rights when it comes to safe food, health, public health, and, uh, and, and our health generally. Although we have some scanty laws on um, this particular subject, for example, the Plant and Health Act, this needs to be revamped. It puts a lot of power within the office of the commissioner, CROP. In fact, um, if we are in serious economies, the commissioner should be arrested like today to explain why are we continuing to have these agro-synthetic chemicals into our system when he has all the mandate to, to, to stop it? And we are very, we, yes, we are concerned, but we are serious about the issue. We filed the case. We want to call upon the judiciary to expedite the hearing and determination of the case on glyphosate. In the entire world, glyphosate has been declared uh, with, uh, by World Health Organization to be uh, carcinogenic. It causes cancer. All the weed killers that we are using in Uganda are glyphosate-based. Why are we not stopping them when we have alternatives to use? So government is sleeping on, on, on the job. When we look at the legal framework, the legal framework is not supportive. And even the few provisions we have are not being implemented. This is why we are calling upon MAIF, the Ministry of Agriculture, to implement Section 18 of the Agricultural Chemicals Act because they have the mandate in there. But that is also not happening. We have called upon government, yes, a few things have been done. For example, we have the organic agriculture policy. But the policy is a policy. We, we, we are asking for a law, a law to, 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 such that even us as civil society, if we are to hold them accountable, we can hold them accountable using the law. But right now, we don't have the law. We know that Mankozeb has a chemical that is being widely used in Uganda on tomatoes, that whitish thing that you see on tomatoes everywhere, has been banned everywhere. We saw recently the president speaking to us that we should ban these chemicals. One of the, the reasons he's mentioning is we are losing market. This is what Siatid is telling us. We are losing market. So you realize that our economic rights guaranteed under Article 40 are on a daily basis being violated and we are keeping quiet. So we think we need to rise up against not only government, but also these private players who are bringing in these chemicals. Who is importing these chemicals? Who is trading? Every Ugandan who is into an agro you know, input shop Deep in the village or in town, every Ugandan in there is in a great danger of death. And government must protect the rights of every Ugandan in there. Others are pregnant, others have suffered uh, uh, mis miscarriages, others having all sorts of complications in their lives, the cancers that are people are getting. So these are all legal issues that we think Ugandans, if you are working in an agro sh input shop and you have these issues, go for a test. Make sure that you have your documents because we must hold these people accountable. Yes, and the, the people who are applying these chemicals in our villages, nobody, they don't have the knowledge they don't know how to, 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 to apply the chemicals. These synthetics are killing not only the people, but the environment, the, the soil, the animals. Because if we don't live in isolation, 
Even if I practice safe agro agriculture, you know, practices in my farm, but this is an entire village. Someone will spread the other side. So who is holding people accountable? At district level, the, we have the Local Government Act. Please implement the Local Government Act. We as, we, what we are telling you here, uh, for us as lawyers, we'll be now holding local governments accountable for failing, one, to, 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 to prevent these shops to sell the, the chemicals, but also for failing to regulate the use within the chemicals. A woman, a man in these villages who are spraying and whatever they are spraying is not in their knowledge, should be the responsibility of the local government under the local government act as a law that regulates that space to prevail over them. I'll stop here, but the law, we have some scanty laws, but other laws are very silent and men are not implemented.